Now, a really important part of all of this is attention, our locus of attention. And what is the locus of attention? A feature or object in the physical world or an idea about which you are intently and actively thinking. I'll simplify it for you. It's what you're paying attention to. How many of you are heard of a locus of control? Yeah, so that's basically how much control you think you have over something, over your life, over your health, those sorts of things. Same thing with attention, that's what we're talking about. So with locus of attention, it's just what are you paying attention to? Now, we do have a lot of control over our locus of contention, but it's not complete. There are things that are going to suddenly draw our attention from other things. Such as the example I gave where if you're sitting here intently paying attention to me because I'm such a fabulous professor and I'm so interesting, and someone goes in and slams the door, what has happened to your attention? It's now switched. But we didn't have control over that, but we can switch it back. We see in here much more than what ever happened, you know, what's going on in the world that we're not paying attention to, right? There's still a lot going on, but we're not always aware of everything else. Our perception and our memory is not like a camera or even, you know, a movie clip where we take all of that information in. Sometimes we will be so focused on something that we completely miss what's going on around us. We're able to tune things out. So I actually do this all the time. I'm walking down the hallway, thinking intently of something. A student walks by me, so, oh, hi, professor. I keep going. They come to my office hours later. What did I do? Why are you mad at me? What are you talking about? I said hi to you, and you had this look on your face. You completely ignored me. Oh, sorry. By the way, if I do that to you, that's why. It's not personal. Why? Because I was so focused on whatever I happened to be thinking about or whatever I happened to be doing. So we can tune things out. Now, sometimes people will say, all right, well, what about this idea where, you know, hypnosis? You can go in hypnosis and you will recall everything. Who thinks that's actually true? It's actually not. It's a really controversial area as to how much of it is true and, it, and isn't. And what you find in some of the control studies is that it's not an image, it's not a picture. And our perceptual memory actually doesn't last very long. It lasts even short, it's even shorter than short-term memory. Right, so it's an extremely brief period of time. So a great way to understand it is when we look, look at movie clips, when we look at the frames per second, are you guys familiar with that? All right, so when you are looking at a movie and you're watching this movie, it looks continuous to us, right? Is it actually continuous? It's not. You have frames. If the frames are, are fast enough, then it looks continuous to us, even though it's not, because you're taking advantage of how our perception works and how short our perception and our perceptual senses actually are. Now, if you make that frame rate too slow, do you start noticing? Yeah, you do. If you make it fast enough, then you don't notice because it's taking advantage of that human capability. But it also shows us that what we are perceiving is not continuous and it does not last very long at all. As I mentioned, perceptions do not automatically become memories. We have to work at it if we want it to become memories. We need to pay attention to it. We need to engage in memory techniques. And even when we do that, it tends to decay. So I can be standing here talking to you, have a full conversation with you. I'll walk out. Someone can ask me what color your shirt was. And what do you think I'll answer? I don't know. Do I perceive it as I was standing there? Sure. You ask me what color your shirt is as you're standing in front of me? I will know. Even stick me under hypnosis, I'm not going to know what color your shirt was. I'll probably guess it's black because a lot of people wear black. Or I'll say it's dark. And I'll really be right. 
Look at how many people in here are working, wearing dark shirts. Like 70% of you. So information becomes our locus of attention. It moves into our short-term memory. And if we keep focusing on it and we engage in memory, uh, memory techniques, then it becomes long-term memory. 